is pretty. <laughs> I love this movie. <laughs> I mean, no. We watch it every Christmas in my house. <laughs> I'm a human, but I was raised by elves. Buddy's experiencing a world he never knew existed. But he's your Not son. gonna lie, I had a crush on Will Ferrell during the movie. I don't know why. Iconic. Best, I, already a 10,000 best holiday movie ever. I think you're beautiful and my tongue. It's just so funny. Like, it's just so well written. Ah, oh my God. <laughs> I know him. I know him. <laughs> wow. Oh, good. So good. Buddy the Elf doing the splits down an escalator. I can't tell you how many times I have gone down an escalator and probably split my pants trying to do that. So on a scale of one to five, how would you rate this movie? On a scale of one to five, a five, but on the scale of life, it, it busts the top of every list. Five because it's just such a classic. Four because I don't know what else we're gonna watch and like I wanna have somewhere to go. Five, three. Absolute five. I love it, so I'm also gonna give it a five. Elf is a movie I can watch even when it's not Christmas time, so I'm gonna give it a solid five. There's so many things that we say that are from this movie and you kind of forget that it's, it's one of those. I give it a five. Somebody's on the roof. But this Christmas Eve... Hey, you! <laughs> the unfit... The Santa Claus! You killed him! <laughs> Put on my suit. The rain I don't know what to do. I love this left. movie. I completely oh, forgot so about it, though. You're the new Santa. So good! So good. This is, like, so fundamental to my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'm quite the opposite. I've actually never seen this movie. Santa? The Santa Claus. So good. Imagine that, though. Turning into Santa Claus? Ooh. Give it a four. I'm gonna give it a four as well. Three, because one, I haven't seen it, but two, I did see the sequel, and I did enjoy the sequel. Five, five candy canes. Four? Lollipops? So I'm gonna give it a four gumdrops. I don't think I've ever seen this one, but... It looks great. I would give it a three. I'm gonna say a three as well. I gotta leave the Zoom. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I would give this one like a five just because the nostalgia of it. Have yourself. <gasps> oh, God, I love her. I love her. My favorite of all time. See, Maybe I'm part of the unpopular, like, camp where Home Alone was not my all-time favorite. Yesterday, he was just a kid. But tonight, he's a home security oh. system. You guys give up? I, oh, yeah. What kid did not want to be, Kevin? <laughs> Oh. I have to defend. Oh. He's adorable. Oh my gosh. That is my favorite Christmas movie of all time. That kid is a little bad by the end of that movie. And what kid did not want to be left home alone with all the the uh, food and, and money in the world and all that stuff? That was low-key scary though. I was like, how do you know how to do all of that at that age? Question. Mm. I'm going to give it four snowflakes. Solid like four. Four, because it is such a classic. Four, because... I really love the second one. So I feel like the first one is equally as good. Five mini marshmallows. Four hot chocolates. Five for me. I would even go with six on a scale of one to five. This is my favorite. Even though this movie does bring back some memories of actually being left at home when my family went on vacation, <laughs> um, I still enjoy this movie. I'm gonna give it a five. On Christmas Eve many years ago, <gasps> I lay quietly in my bed. This is another one I just never saw. I saw this in movie theaters. Oh, throwback. I haven't seen this in so long. I haven't seen I this know, in ages. Man. It's Tom Hanks. I love the Polar Express. Wait. I'm gonna cry. Why to the North Pole, of course. This is the Polar <laughs> Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Can't go wrong. I remember seeing this movie when it came out in IMAX. And I remember like sitting back in my seat, looking at it and just like taking in all the magic. I love this movie. I would give it a five. Four Christmas ornaments. I haven't seen it, so I can't really fully judge it. Five Hershey Kisses. Three, just because the animation did kind of freak me out as a kid. A three. A three, two. I feel like I can't rate Home Alone and Polar Express the same. A five, because I have so many memories singing those songs. Three, only because it makes me really really sad. I really love 
Christmas movies that are like funny and this is not really a funny movie it's more like sentimental and hopeful and magical so for that reason I'm gonna give it four um, golden tickets I knew it was coming I knew this was coming the great five. So good. This is brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. This movie is iconic. Absolutely hilarious. I think Jim Carrey is I mean, a legend, but everyone knows that. The Grinch. Oh my gosh. So okay. iconic. I was always freaked out by the, the, the who's from just like the way their like face was. Sh it always just freaked me out. Yeah, the nose. I love this movie. I know that we can only go to five, but this gets a 10 in my book. I would give it five cups of eggnog. A three. I love it. Three. I'm gonna give it three. What is it? Tiny hearts? Hearts of coal? I just want to say I'm learning a lot about people today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wish I could give this movie 10, um, but I can only give it five. The highest five. Um, just because my family loved this movie. Four, I love this movie. Specifically the song, Where Are You Christmas? Such a Christmas bop. Welcome to an extraordinary world. A classic. Magic. I love a good claymation. Now this is a topic of debate. And is this a holiday movie? I am the Pumpkin King! Some may say yes, some may say no. What's this? What's this? There's color everywhere. What's this? There's white things in the air. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes. Shout out to Tim Burton for making a Halloween movie and a Christmas movie in one movie. I happen to think it's more of a Halloween movie? No, I don't know. I think it I think it depends. I think it depends on the mood I'm in. But it's called Nightmare Before Christmas is the thing. It does have Christmas you know. in the title. This is a very iconic movie, so I'll give it a I like a three. A four because it's great. A five. I love this movie. I'll give it a five. A two. Five. Because now I watch it, I'm like, okay, that took a lot of work and I appreciate the craft and design of all of this. Two. Because also I, I do enjoy the Haunted Mansion and like how it can transform into something else. I haven't seen it based off of everything I've seen and based off the Disneyland ride alone, uh, I'm going to give it a solid four. One. I think Tim Burton's amazing. This movie scares me so bad. All right, guys, now we actually have a bonus video for you. The last one on our list isn't technically a holiday movie per se, but we think that you're gonna like this one. All right. Okay. Hi. Hey, everyone. We've officially entered the most wonderful- Hey! hey. Been naughty or nice, we've got- the Look at that! For you. Welcome to High School Musical, the musical- Oh my God! Holiday special. Take it away! Hey! There will be laughs. Amazing! And a whole lot of music. And dreidels. <laughs> yes! That's Join sweet. Us as we share wow! Everyone looks so good! The only way theater kids Oh know. my god, Dara! When the perfect gift is you. Let's go! So oh, sweet. Oh, that's so exciting. I've never seen that. That was so nice! Yeah, that was, that was our first time seeing that. It just makes me so excited to watch it. That was crazy. That was our first time seeing that. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with that. You guys are so talented. I feel so lucky that I get to work with you guys. And it looks so beautiful. It definitely caught us mid-quarantine mm -hmm. during this thing. So everyone was like in a different world, but we all came together in our hometowns or wherever we were staying to make it. So that was really special that somehow we pulled it all together. Everyone has a different story about what the holidays mean to them. And I think our holiday special really captures that aspect of the holidays. High School Musical, the musical, the series has gained a pretty incredible fan base since it released back in November. What would you guys like fans to know about the holiday special? I think they're gonna learn a lot about us. The, the, a fun thing about the holiday special is that we all have these little stories about our own personal lives and growing up and what the holidays mean to us. And so there was a lot of stuff about the cast that I learned that I had never known. Watching the holiday special, you should definitely get like muscle mas massages out because my cheeks were so sore afterwards from smiling so much. There's gonna be a lot of bops on this soundtrack, so get ready to dance, get ready to cry. Cause I remember when I listened to it, I was just like, this right here is iconic. Thanks so much for having us. We hope you had fun playing along. Be sure to check out our holiday special streaming December 11th on Disney+. Plus. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Mwah.